What's up YouTube, Day here from Zephyr War Games and we are here with James. James is bringing us his um, flower carding deck. Now the deck can be made budget, just James's competitive extra deck has taken it over like the £30 budget mark, but bear in mind it can be made very, very cheaply. Um, and the extra deck stuff you don't really need to worry too much about. So without any further ado, James is going to take you straight through that. So, whenever you're ready. Yep. So to begin with, we've got three Flower Cardian Pines. These are essential in the deck. They're the only monster in your deck that can actually be normal summoned. Um, the effect upon normal summon is that you draw a card, reveal it. If it's a Flower Cardian monster, keep it in hand. Otherwise, send it to graveyard. Um, also, when it's destroyed by battle, it or card effect sent to the graveyard, draw one card. So this is the only monster, like I said, you can normal summon. Now all the flower cardians either have three um, different attacks and defense. You've got 100, 1000 or 2000. The 2000 ones are normally the upgraded version of each of the 100 ones and they have their own effects as well. So this is a linchpin card. It's one of the most important cards in the deck. Next, two flower cardian pine with cranes. Now, this one, in order to summon this, you take your pine, you tribute it to special summon. So it's a tribute special summon. Upon summon, you have to reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Flower Cardian monster, you get to special summon it. Uh, otherwise, send it to graveyard. And this one has a fairly cool effect of, if it attacks, at the end of the battle stage, you get to draw a card. So it's another draw card. Most of the 2K ones have a draw effect of some sort. Um, based around battle. So two of them on top there. Next, three cherry blossoms with curtains. Now, this is the other key card that you need to be seeing. Without this or pine, there's very little to start you off with. So in order to summon this one, you must reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a flower cardian monster, like all the other effects, you get to do stuff, otherwise everything goes graveyard. So with this one, however, when you reveal it, you reveal it from hand, you reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a flower cardian monster, you keep that monster in hand and you special summon this one. 2,000 attack, 2,000 defense. Um, Otherwise, you send this card and the card you revealed to the graveyard. You can't, it has got a hand trap effect, but I found that I'd rather be summoning it and just pushing and pushing and pushing. Flower Cardians are all about just pushing and pushing for the synchros, getting in to your big beat sticks, into all the massive lockdown effects that the synchro monsters actually can do but the hand trap isn't that bad. You ditch it to the graveyard and a flower cardian monster's fighting gains 2,000, uh, 1,000 attack even until the end of the turn. Next up, three of the flower cardian zebra grasses. These are the next 100 attack monsters. And so, Every flower cardian has a thing with, except for the 1000 ones and a couple of the 2000 ones. So this one requires you to have a level seven or lower flower cardian monster on the field to be able to special summon it. Can't um, normal summon it. So like I said, all the flower cardians require you to special summon them except for the pine. This one's basically, basically your magical mallet, but you have to show flower cardian monsters. 
So you reveal flower card in monsters, shuffle them back into your deck, draw the same number of cards. Very good to help unclog the deck. Next up, two zebra grasses with moon. So these ones, again, you basically take your zebra grass, tribute your zebra grass, make zebra grass with moon. When it's summoned, when it's special summoned, draw one card, show it. If it's a flower cardian monster, special summon it. Otherwise send the card you reveal to graveyard. And once per turn, when this card destroys a monster by battle, you get to draw a card. Now, my favorite of the 100 attack uh, flower cardian monsters, flower cardian willow. You've got, again, you need a level. So if you control a level 10 or lower flower cardian monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot normal summon or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except flower cardian monsters. So there's a bit of a lockdown. You can't, it restricts what you do with your extra deck. But the other effect is the really amazing one. It's take a flower cardian monster from your graveyard, shuffle it into deck, draw a card. No reveal and discard. This just helps extend those plays further and further. It's also key card for Willow with Calligrapher, which requires you to tribute Willow, two of them, in the deck. This one is your Tuna monster. You tribute a Willow or a level 11, uh, tribute one level 11 flower cardian monster except uh, Willow with Calligrapher. Special summon this card. Draw one card, reveal it. If it's a flower cardian monster, special summon it. Otherwise send it to graveyard. When this card is used for synchro material, however, you can treat it and all other synchro materials that you use as level two monsters. So you get flood your board with five monsters and you basically turn them all into level twos and you can go for tens, eights, sixes, even a four if you really wanted to. Um, three flower cardian Polonias. These ones, uh, this one's my second favorite of the 100 attacks um, because when you special summon it, you need a level 11 or lower flower cardian monster. So the synchro monsters you, you can summon this off of having light flare or, um, or light showers, same with willow. So you don't need to have all the base to do so. But if this card is attacked, you can negate the attack, end the battle phase, draw a card. Extremely powerful, especially if people don't realize what's on the board just go, oh, it's a 100 attack monster, here's 5k, wait a second, the battle phase negated. Um, right, okay. Again, this one has the downside of when this is summoned, you can't special summon except for flower cardian monsters. Now, I'm not running the Polonia with Phoenix, because Polonia with Phoenix Yes, you get the draw a card, etc. upon summon, but this is a very good stopping point and it means that you can safely use the next set of monsters without worrying if your next draw is going to be a with, because if it's not there in your deck, then you don't worry. Because the next lot is maple with deer. This is the first of the 1000 attack, 1000 defense monsters. So in order to summon this one, you take a flower cardian monster on the field, tribute it off to the graveyard, special summon this card. Reveal the top card like you would for the 2k ones, but instead of um, special summoning, if it's a flower cardian monster, you have to, you keep it in hand. 
otherwise sent to graveyard. When the, upon revealing the flower cardian monster, target one card your opponent controls, spell or trap, and destroy it. So this is your MST in monster form for flower cardians. And so if you're worried about hitting a with target, so something like uh, Willow. So if you tribute off Willow for one of these and you get Willow with Calligrapher as you draw, you're little stuffed. So that's a good, I'm safe with this. I can definitely use these for these 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense monsters. Next up, you've got Flower Cardian, Clover with Boar. This one does the exact same thing as your Maple with Deer. You tribute off a Flower Cardian monster, any Flower Cardian monster, special summon this one, and reveal the next card of your deck. If it's a Flower Cardian monster, keep it in hand, destroy one of your opponent's monsters on the field. You cannot use um, Maple with Deer to tribute over Maple with Deer, just like you can't tribute Boar for Boar. Um, so you might want, so it's a good idea to go Maple with Deer, Boar, Maple with Deer, Boar. You're still getting those draws, still getting those plays. Lastly, to round up the monsters, we've got three Fione with butterflies. These again are your tuners. They have a very similar effect to your uh, calligrapher, Willow with calligrapher. Cannot be normal summon set, must first be special summoned from your hand by tributing one flower cardian monster, except flower cardian Fione with um, butterfly. If this card is special summoned, draw one card, and if you do, show it. Then, if it's a Flower Cardian monster, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and legally stack them. You can either stack them to the top or bottom of your opponent's deck. Otherwise, send it to Graveyard, if it's not a Flower Cardian monster. When this card is used as Synchro material, treat it and all other Synchro monsters that you have as level twos. So, on to the spells. Flower Gathering, three of. If you don't see uh, Pine or you don't see Curtains, Flower Gathering is your best bet. It's the one you want to open with because you special summon four Flower Cardian monsters with 100 attack with different names from your deck in attack position. Their effects are negated. They cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. You can only activate uh, one flower gathering per turn. You cannot normal summon or special summon other monsters during your turn except flower cardian monsters. Now, the tribute is tribute special summon. It's not a tribute normal summon. So this card kind of gets around it, but you're still stuck with four flower cardian monsters with 100 attack in attack position no effects, but it's your best opening that you can get. Flower stacking, three of. Legally stack the top of your deck with three flower cardian monsters of your choice. It's amazing, amazing effect. Keeps your plays going, keeps it going, keeps it going, because when you get those withs, you want to flower stack, stack your deck, play the with, Special summon the next card. Oh, look at that. Special summon the next and the next. This also has a graveyard effect. You can banish it from graveyard. Target one flower cardian monster in your graveyard. Add it to hand. Only activate this effect once per turn. You cannot activate the graveyard effect the same turn that it is used or sent to graveyard. So what I normally like to do is search out Willow add Willow to hand, as long as I've got something on the board, special Willow, then use Willow's effect to shuffle the card back in, safely draw another card and carry on. You've got two Super Koi Kois. 
So you could legally stack and go with the Wiz, or you can legally stack and go into Super Koi Koi with no repercussions. Because what happens is you excavate the top three cards of your deck, special summon as many Flower Cardian monsters amongst them as possible, ignoring summoning conditions, but their levels become two and their effects are negated. So, amazing card because, like I said, if you stack it, it helps. If you go into this and go, I need the luck, give me the luck, I've got nothing else, dump it, let's see what happens. The downside to it is, if you, any remaining cards are banished face down, and when that happens, you lose a thousand life points for each one. So it can be risky, because if you hit three uh, cards that aren't monsters, you're taking 3k damage. And no, and you've just lost a card. Um, it's also got a great nifty graveyard effect. You banish it from graveyard, tribute a flower cardian monster of some sort, doesn't matter which, and you special summon a flower cardian monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Got three recardinations. Recardination, target one flower cardian monster in your graveyard, add it to hand, then special summon a flower cardian monster, ignoring summoning conditions. That's good, but what's even more amazing is if this is ditched by a flower cardian monster's effect, so like the Wiz, you go with reveal, oh, it's re recardination, send it to graveyard, its effect kicks off. You look at the top five cards of your deck, well, you excavate them, add one spell or trap excavated in this way to your hand, the remaining cards go back on top of your deck in the order you choose. Another legally stacking card effect. This, I mean, you adding a spell card so you're not really losing anything by it disappearing, and you've just stacked your deck so you know what you're going into. One reinforcement of the army, wish you could play more, but you've got three targets for it. You've got Pine, um, Pine to start you off with your normal summon. If you've already got a Pine on board, etc., go for Pine with Crane, ditch that Pine, get Pine with Crane, go off. Or if you've stacked your deck, if you've got flower stacking, go for Cherry Blossom with Curtain, Stack your deck, summons Cherry Blossom with Curtain because you know that next card is going to be a Flower Cardian Monster. Oh Lastly, Soul Charge. Take a massive hit of damage and basically go for a second Synchro Summon from the graveyard. Don't care about the uh, battle phase because the more of the Flower Cardian extra deck cards that you go into, the worse the time your opponent's going to have. Now, I've got one trap card, and that's Fellow Wings. I play this card because, yes, you've got a three, you've got a 3K card that really is amazing, 3K Synchro Monster, that's amazing, but a lot of boss monsters are 3K attack, defense, etc., and Cards can be easily pumped up in attack and defense. So this basically protects um, your extra deck card, your synchro card, stops it from being destroyable by battle. It gains the attack of the monster that's, be that's attacking it. And it's just an amazing card, really. Level five or higher monster just says uh, no to them. So that's the main deck. Onto the extra deck. Three Flower Cardian Light Flares. Now, this card, it's broken. No real other word for it. So you require one tuner, four non-tuner monsters. Hence why you get five Flower Cardian monsters, turn them, up, turn them all to level twos, synchro them all off. Uh, when your opponent activates a spell or trap, you get to negate it, its activation, and destroy that card once per turn in either player's turn. Fairly nice to begin with, but then 
when your opponent battles with a flower cardian monster, the monster's attacks are negated during the battle phase only. So Utopia Lightning can't touch this, can't get over it. Crystal Wing can't touch this, or any of the other Flower Cardian monsters. If this card is destroyed by battle, or by card effect, or leaves the field for any reason, basically, um, leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect whilst it's in my control, or your control if you're playing this deck. Special summon one Flower Cardian Synchro Monster from your extra deck, except Light Flare. So you don't use Fellow Wings on this guy, because what you're going to do is you're going to use it on the next guy, who you're going to target with the last effect of this. And this is Flower Cardian Light Showers, three of them. 3k, 3k. So this one requires one tuner, three non-tuners, and your opponent cannot target Flower Cardian monsters you control with effects. Also, the, those monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. That includes himself. During your opponent's draw phase, if they draw a card for their normal draw, inflict 1,500 damage to your opponent. Um, yeah, this, with Light Flare, you sit Fellow Wings on light showers that's just rude uh, once per turn during your opponent's end phase activate one of these effects skip your next draw phase or have this effect negated until your opponent's next standby phase so basically once you've got this guy on board you should you need those cards in your graveyard that say, we can do stuff in graveyard. Have your board state set up because you are not drawing for however many rounds whilst this guy's on the board and you attach fellow wings to, to him to make your flower cardians even more untouchable. Lastly of the flower cardian monsters in the extra deck, there is a fourth one in the OCG which I really want because it helps push even further with some of the stupidity that you can actually do with this deck. But for now, the last one we've got is Border Flay. This guy allows Flower Cardians to do piercing damage. So if you've got all three of these guys, of these Flower Cardian monsters on board, you've got piercing damage from a 5k beat stick that cannot be targeted by card effects, that cannot be destroyed by card effects and is going to once per turn negate a spell or trap. But the silliness doesn't stop there with Border Flay. You, you discard one card, banish one card from Graveyard and your opponent then cannot activate card effects from Graveyard or Special Summon from Graveyard. These three together really lock down your opponent's deck. So until we get the third the fourth Flower Cardian monster, even, um, which is a Synchro Tuner at level six. One Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon, because it's a tuner, you get another draw from it. But with this and Border Flay on board, you can go Zolkin. And with Zolkin, you can push into Crystal Wing, Scarlight, Dragon Archfiend, Void Ogre, these monsters in a competitive deck are their staples fairly strong. And for the XYZs, there's one because if you super koi koi and you get three monsters but really can't do anything with them and you need to have your board slightly more cleared up, number 45. You can use all three of the monsters because they're level twos. XYZ into it, you've got three negate effects and other monsters with the same name can't have their effects activated either until that guy leaves the field. Cool. So stay straightforward, done? Yeah. Yeah. So it's... this is straightforward like flower card that James has done a very good job to try and explain um, what each flower cardian card kind of does. Now um, I'll just mention like I said before at the start this can easily be a 30 pound or less budget deck 
by removing these four cards. Now, obviously, these four cards are pretty much Coral with Butterfly to Sulk in and then Sulk into those three. Yeah. So you don't actually have to play these. You can take them out if you yeah. wish. This is personal preference, which, to be totally honest, it's just there as a safety net, as a fullback, just in case, because the XYZ Flower Guardians, are, when they are consistent, they come out really, Synchros. really... Yeah, the synchros, sorry. Uh, the synchros come out really, really quickly, and you know, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to make them. Um, but yeah, it's very, very straightforward deck to play. Uh, well, it's not straightforward deck it's to play. Not straightforward. It plays itself, but if you let it play itself, you tangle yourself up. Yeah. You've got to know when it's you want to do the things. Most complex deck I've had to make for size DVDs. Yeah, because Joe have... pitching in with his. Yeah, sorry, idea. I play the deck as well. It's. I personally, from trying to make it myself, like it is really hard to make this deck because you have to get the perfect ratios right. The extra deck's pretty simple, but the main deck is. Oh really uh, yeah, I'm running, make sure you don't break. You gotta yeah. make it so that it's the most unbrickable. Yeah, way, I'm running, and it's very hard to get done. Yeah, I'm running 42 cards in this deck to help it not clog, but to also then once it is set up keep itself defensive. I play, um, I play a Lure of Darkness in my personal build just because for oh, yeah. testing you can... I have those hands where I only have the ones that need something else to summon yeah. so and a Lure of Darkness is like I can draw a two, banish one I don't need and hopefully... Fellow Wings is easily three. droppable for other cards. Yeah. I mean Maxi Maxi just goes crazy with this card, with this deck. <laughs> and for all of you who are wondering how do you deal with uh, Maxi there is a card. <laughs> you do. You set one card called Heavy Slump. When it comes to their when it comes to their draw phase, they draw for a card. They've got more than eight cards in hand. You activate Heavy Slump. All of those cards go back into the deck, and they draw two. So you've gone massive board state. They've gone cool, tons of cards, and, then you clear their hand. and they've cleared their hand. And you watch as people cry. That's, that's James's crazy tech. Yeah. Um, in his flower cards, but yes, they do take a bit of time to get your head around, but once you do, you can kind of move off of them. Their synchros are very, very strong, um, and if your opponent can't clear over them, they do struggle and usually lose because of the burn effect. Um, but yeah, I very straightforward. I most fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, can, you can have quite a lot of fun. When they don't break, they're really, really fun, but when they do break, they can hurt you, and they, yeah. you know. So they're not a meta changing deck, they're just a really cheap deck you can probably pick up for 30 quid or less, getting rid of obviously these cards, and have a bit of fun with. Um, so that's it for that deck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, and as always, guys, happy dueling. If you like that video, why not check out our other videos available? We've got more deck profiles, pack openings, and of course, duels. And don't forget to click on the most important button of all that subscribe button right in the bottom left hand corner.